Hi friends, my name is Sarah. I'm the Education Assistant for Dunlop Art Gallery, a part of Regina Public Library. Today we'll be learning how to create a sensory jar. These jars are great for meditation or for calming down. They're good for kids and adults. The materials that you'll need for this program are a plastic or glass jar. Make sure you've got a lid that fits great. You'll need some water, some food coloring, some sensory items that will fit into your jar like glitter, Lego, or beads, or other small items. You also need either hair gel, aloe gel, or some type of cooking oil. And it also helps to have some really strong tape on hand. All right, let's get started. Start with your jars. Make sure that you have lids that fit tightly onto your jars. We're gonna start by mixing our oil or gel with food coloring into the jars. You're gonna fill your jar about one third full, and that's with the aloe vera gel or with your oil. Fill your jar one third full with the cooking oil or the gel that you'll be using. Next, add a couple drops of food coloring. Stir the food coloring into your gel or your oil. Notice when you stir the oil and the food coloring that they still stay separated. That's okay. The next step is to fill your jars two thirds full with water. Make sure that you leave a little bit of room to add your sensory items. Give your jars another stir. Now comes the time for you to add your sensory bits. To my jars, I added glitter, and I also added sequins and beads. Give your jars one last stir. Finish the jars off by adding a little bit more water, leaving about one centimeter of room at the top. Close up your jars. If you're worried about spilling, you can also use a strong tape like duct tape or packing tape to seal them up. Now you've got two sensory jars. Shake them and watch the magic happen. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to share your creations with us. You can do that two ways. You can email us an image of your artwork at dunlop at reginalibrary.ca you can also post your things onto social media and tag Dunlop Art Gallery and also use the hashtag Dunlop Challenge. Until next time, friends, visit reginalibrary.ca for more information.